In this Joe token sequence, we can see a bit of how malicious Joe is seen in, in our school. As you can see in that first sequence, uh, Uke is in Inno Kamai and he tries to do a Makogiri. Okay, so. so as we step aside, we perform a ski over his face. It could be his eye, it could be his mouth, it could be his, his, his chin or his throat even. Uh, it depends, in this case, if he'll be using or wearing a mempo or a kabuto or something. But those are now uh, primary targets. So he attempts a makogiri and we step aside and we align our hara and our weight. And our, all our weight will be focused on this, on the very tip of the jaw. So we have a very powerful ski here. And he steps backward. And as he steps backward, uh, we turn the jaw in a very fast and powerful way because here we have here we have this extension of jaw, you know, in a uh, in a shape of a point, and so we are still uh, able here to put all our weight in just one point, a focused ski. However, in this situation, we are still, you know, if you can see our right hand and uh, our our weight. Uh, distributed in such a way that uh, it coincides more or less with our primary axis over here. And so, if we think like that, we can see that we are still, uh, how can, how could you say, uh, centered. Our power is still centered. Now, we are here, and when we, when we perform this katateuchi, what we do is we expand our whole body and we distribute our weight quite differently. So this happens. And the king, she knows that he has to, uh, to retreat just enough because, if the, because the closer we are to the tip, the stronger this, this movement is. So he has to retreat enough to make to perform his mind correctly, which, on the other hand, uh, obligates him to enter quite strongly now in Amako one more time. And this gives us the condition to evaluate our eye and his next move because he is already here, ready to cut. So when he enters, we have the proper conditions to use one more time the last third of the jaw of the staff. So we are here and we are, um, we set a 90, de 90 degree with him which is actually one, uh, a very difficult position for him to put one more time. Even because we have this angle, we are pressing upward here. And then our hip, our ara, helps us perform this. So we can perform our kamai and our final makochi. One more time. So we can see we are always inviting him and always leading him to a trap and Joe uses this a lot in our school so we are here we are uh, in a position which could be seen as an open position so he comes and appears uh, we have two ways to analyze this next movement one is we are here and because he received because he was hit by this ski he is still it's still there, and we have time to perform this chi, and so he would. Uh, it, it could be quite difficult for him to, you know, to perform his mai and uh, step off from our mai. But we can also think as as something possible that we stroke, and then he sees how dangerous this this mai could be for him, and uh, so he steps backward and he steps off. Or my, our movement, and he enters trying to catch us, you know, in the middle time. Just, just soon after I, I, I try to catch him, he enters. 